Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've been on a little break of 7 months but I'm trying to get back now to work and be creative. Arteza asked me to try out the new Minecraft powders so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna try and see if I can use them in my acrylic pourings. And as you can see the end result looks amazing. So if you wanna know how I did it then keep on watching. Ateza gave me a pack of 35 mica powders. They're each like 10 grams and two colors really popped out to me and that were the chameleon uh, mica powders. I have a blue and a green one because these shift colors and I really really wanted to see how that worked in my acrylic paintings. I know I had to use some glue to like put them in my painting because I didn't want to mix them with paint that already has a color because then it just disappeared. So I've used Floetrol which is like a pouring medium that dries translucent to mix it with my mica powders. I didn't know how much mica powder I needed for the amount of Floetrol that I had. I had about a centimeter of Floetrol in these cups. So I first put like uh, three of the small spoon that's with the box of a teaser and uh, I would just mixed it and see what would happen. I just kind of giggled to see which color it made because it really made a really weird color. Nothing, anything near like blue or green. Because I was doubting myself when I saw the color mixed in with the Floetrol, I just wanted to add a bit more pigment into it to make sure you could really see it in the painting. So I added like two more spoons to it to just make sure the color really pops and just breaks out because I would be really sad if you couldn't see the glittering or the color shifting or anything in the painting. So I just started mixing again and then I will try it out without even putting it first into a painting. I will put it on the background paper that you see right now, it's some baking paper and I'll see what happens when it dries because I didn't know what was going to happen if it dried like regular powder that was in the bottle or that it would mix with the float roll so you had like a really pretty, pretty paint that you made on your own. So we'll see. As you can see it just turned it like a weird yellow and a weird brown paint color. I didn't really see the specks in it when I held it in the light. Um, the color shift wasn't really in there in this lighting so I had no idea what was gonna happen. Uh, the mica powder is just so thin and it just disappears in anything that you put it in. So this is the moment I will put some on the baking sheet and then use a hairdryer to blow it dry and just see what happens. On the left you have the Artisa Chameleon Blue and on the right you have the Chameleon Green. I will skip some bits and fast forward to it so you can really see it dry and see the color change. And in the end I will show you all how it looks with the flashlight on, on my phone. Without you, I remember myself, my name Forgot about all you tried to change Familiar was the sound of your voice as I Continue to walk on by It has been a year I had to put the flashlight on just look how amazing it looks you can see the blue in it you can see the green in the other one and it really color shifts and i was really confident that this is what i could put in my painting 
So for this painting I wanted to do a few of my favorite colors which is always and will always be Prussian blue with some Mars black and titanium white and of course some purple in there and this purple gloss from A color just turns so dark it's so pretty and I think it will really look good with the glitters in there. I'll put all the brands and all the colors in the description down below so if you ever want to try any of these colors you find them there. There's also a link to the mica powders that I've used from Matiza and if you look on my Instagram there is a giveaway going and you can win the mica powders. Just a few days left so if you go there maybe you can win them too and try them in your paintings. As always, I use about like three parts of paint with five parts of Floetrol and then I just add water to get the right consistency. I will be showing you in the video what that consistency is. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick because I want the cells to hold. I will not be adding any water to the Floetrol Mica Powder Mix because I just want to see how it works on its own. So if you're wondering how it looks, just keep on watching and I'll show you the consistency of the paints. The Winsler & Newton paints are a bit more expensive, but they have a lot of pigment. That's why the paint is a bit thicker, so it needs more float on water to get the right consistency. So that's why I don't really weigh things or give you the exact amount I use, because it just differs for every, every paint. Just make sure you use Floetrol to keep the pigment and the paint together. When you add too much water, you will like the color will disappear when it dries. So if you're working with cheaper paints, you may need to use more Floetrol and less water to get the right consistency. But it will work for you. It doesn't matter which paint you use, you just have to find your right consistency for your paint brands. And that's just experimenting and trying. It just doesn't work for every brand the same time with the same amount. If you don't like watching me mix all these paints, if it doesn't interest you, that's okay. I always put the timestamps down in my description below so you can see for these long videos which part of the video is what. So you can skip to the part that you like. If you wanted to try to make this painting, you can skip ahead when I go pour it. And if you just want to know how I mixed my paints, then you go watch that. I just want to try and help everybody. And don't forget to add the silicone oil. I sometimes forget. <laughs> and then I have to like add it in <laughs> on the back of this video. Cause and then I try mixing and then I'm walking around and I forget. So never forget the silicone oil. I put about two or three drops in the paint. Uh, some more because I have more paint mix than the other one. Just make sure you mix it well when you use it. I just dropped one little bit in the mica powder mix because I just wanted to see what that does. And now I'm just gonna stop talking for a bit and just let you enjoy me creating this painting. And I'll see you in the end with the end result when it's all dry and varnished. Looks like we've come to the end of the road There's no point in running away now I'd rather sleep until the storm is gone She'd rather be shooting at me now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's aiming her words, ready to fire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire
like a blink of an eye's not enough She'd rather be staying for days now I'd rather fix it than mess up again She'd rather be burning it all now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's ending her words, went into fire I don't think that boulders will bring back desire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire I'm back. It's such a weird experience pouring this painting because first I'm using my flashlight on my phone like I'm doing here so I have no idea how it looks. The colors are just a bit weird because you have that flashy color in there and the brown but as you can see it, when it dries it just completely changes color. It's amazing. The shift in it in it's just going from green gold to red it just looks amazing. I just think it's the best thing <laughs> I ever tried. I'm really going to use it more and more often because it just looks so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.